Hello, my name is Christian, uh, and this morning we're looking at 1 Timothy chapter 1. In particular, we're looking at verses 13 to 16. Now, I don't know how long you've been at Emmanuel, um, but it might be that you've seen baptisms here. It might be that you've been on the Alpha course, or you've heard someone being interviewed about the Alpha course. But in all these things, you might have heard someone's testimony. The testimony of, of, of what they were like before they knew Jesus and the point where they came to know Jesus and their journey to that and also what their relationship is like now. And as we look at these verses here, we see that Paul is explaining a bit about his story and a bit about what he was like um, before he became a Christian. So let's look at um, verse 15 just to begin with. Here is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. So obviously we're talking about the early church, but he's saying that, um, that even now it's becoming a trustworthy and acceptable thing to say Jesus came into the world to save sinners. We might think that's obvious to us now, but I guess what he's saying is, is the word is, is going out. It's going out to all the churches, uh, all the people in the land. They're, they're finding out why Jesus came into the world. And that's becoming an acceptable thing. And he's saying, Jesus came to save sinners of whom I am the worst. He was the worst one, which gives us an encouragement, right? The things that, the things that we may have done in our past. Now, Paul is saying, oh, I'm, I'm the worst. Trust me. And it's like, well, Paul, why, why are you the worst? Why are you so bad? And he gives us a little bit of an insight. Obviously, we can read other, other bits in Acts where we, where we find out what, what Paul or previously saw was like. But verse 13 says, Though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man. And it's almost as if there's like a scale. There's, I was a blasphemer. I was a persecutor. I was putting that kind of, um, putting that into practice. And I was a violent man. It's almost as if his sin is getting greater the more and more he talks about it. And the more and more you think, wow, Paul, you were, you were going down a dark path. And it, and it might be that you, uh, you know some friends of yours who, yeah, they don't know Jesus. And you can see what they're doing. You can see the, the, the path that they're heading down. And you're thinking, oh, I don't know if there's any way back from that. But what does Paul say? This, this latter bit of that verse 13. I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. And that first bit that he was shown mercy. So although his sin was increasing, is there any way out of that? Is there any way that you can turn around from that dark path? Surely that that path leads to destruction. No. As his sin was increasing, actually there was a mercy to match that. Jesus is mercy to him. And I think, you know, we read about that, that bit where he says, you know, I, I was doing it in ignorance and unbelief. And I think that there's, there's people we know who are, who are sinning at the moment, but they don't know it. They're ignorant of the fact. There are friends who we could say, yep, yeah, they also tick that box. <laughs> they're ticking the box of going down a dark path. They're ticking the box of, of they're doing it in ignorance. And is there any way back from them? Well, if we read on here, verse 16, but for that very reason, I was shown mercy. So that in me, the worst of sinners, just he's reiterating that again, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. So what he's saying is, is that those friends that we are praying for, your, your neighbours, uh, just your, your friends from college or university or, or workplace or whatever, the, the people you're praying for, there is hope for them. Paul is saying, I'm an example. I'm an example of someone who was going that way, but I was shown such mercy, mercy to match the sin uh, that I was committing. So that's our encouragement today. Let's go, let's go again, let's go again today. Pray for our friends, pray for those we know who don't know Jesus uh, with the encouragement that if, if Jesus can do it in Paul's life, the worst of sinners, uh, he, can, he did it in our lives and he can do it in our friends' lives. So let's just take that away today. I'm just going to pray for us to end. Jesus, we thank you uh, that you came into this world to save sinners. And that is a trustworthy saying. And, uh, and Jesus, we, we thank you. You did that in our lives. You did that in Paul's life here. 
And uh, God, we do pray for our friends, our family who don't know you. And God, we pray, would you break into their life? Would you save them? No matter what path they're walking down that we're just worried and concerned about, we know that your mercy uh, can cover that. So we pray that you do that in your name. Amen. Thanks so much uh, for, for journeying with me this morning and uh, see you again tomorrow.